respect the presidency, but I will not respect this president of the United States of America. Those words from Muslim activist Linda Sarsour from the Women's March on D.C. that was earlier this year. Ms. Sarsour now finding herself back in the spotlight, facing criticism over her latest remarks, calling for, quote, jihad against the Trump White House. Listen. I hope that we, when we stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad, that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. Sarsour's supporters maintain the word causing fierce backlash has been taken out of context and that her she's also been fighting back, tweeting, right wing tries to demonize my leadership. Editing videos is their favorite pastime. Here now, Ben Shapiro is editor-in-chief of DailyWire.com, and Hassan Shibley is chief executive director of CARE Florida, a friend of Ms. Sarsour's, and was president when she made the comment. So, Hassan, let me start with you. Tell me how it was taken out of context. Well, jihad means to struggle for good. And she was very clear that it's our duty as Americans and as Muslims to put forward our best effort and to struggle to speak truth to power, to help the disenfranchised, to stand for the oppressed, no matter what the cost is of speaking out. And she's actually paying the price of speaking out and calling out the Trump administration's attacks on minorities, attacks against women. Uh, Linda's a revolutionary American Muslim proud hijab sporting activist, and we stand with we're proud of the tremendous work she's doing to stand with all disenfranchised minorities to make America great by standing for justice and speaking truth to okay. power, which is exactly what jihad is about. Okay, so I first read about this on the Daily Wire um, but when you wrote about it, Ben. Tell me why you think that uh, it was not taken out of context when she calls for a jihad against the White House. Well, I mean, it clearly wasn't taken out of context. Everybody I know who posted this story posted the entire video as well as a, a large portion of the transcript from what she said. I don't think anybody is claiming that she openly called for violence against President Trump. But jihad means more than just internal struggle or, quote unquote, struggle for good. I mean, we all know that there are terrorists all over the world who invoke the word jihad as justification for what they do. And Linda Sarsour knows that, too. I mean, she knows how to make a headline. She is a radical anti-Semite who has backed terrorists in the past. She's a person who has who has said that I am Stop smearing her. Don't smear her woman who's not here to defend herself. It's you just don't a, like a local him, American Hassan, Muslim woman a a proudly moment. standing for justice. Don't smear a woman who's not here to defend herself. Shame on okay, you. Okay, I'll talk to, fine, I'll talk to, I'll talk about CARE instead. CARE is an organization that was an unindicted co-conspirator in the Holy Land Right, Foundation shift the topic, exactly, never indicted. Don't try to uh, drown out the conversation. Let's talk about what jihad means. Jihad means drown striving for truth. Let me ask you, Hassan, something. Hassan, let me ask you something. If you want to talk about context, let's talk about the full context. Yes, go ahead and ask me. Okay, this is what I want to ask you. The fact that she began this speech by praising a guy who has mm -hmm. in the past talked about how jihad includes violent jihad. She started her speech with that. So let's not pretend that you can just, you're the one taking this one line out of context and then suggesting that it only refers well, to Well, I encourage everybody sort of just to listen to the speech for herself. So I, I listen to it and, listen to and I have a question to, to you from a, from a communication standpoint. So she wants to be an sure. effective activist. It, she, surely she is aware that when the general public hears the word jihad, it's not necessarily about an internal struggle and standing up for people's rights. I mean, we do that all the time in America, like, like our country's actually built on that. So I'm mm -hmm. curious Absolutely. why she w doesn't think that she would get some backlash. If you're going to say those things, you are going to get, you know, stir up a hornet's nest. Well, that's why it's so important that she used that word, because we what? must reclaim that word from the extremists that have misdefined it and misrepresented it. So Muslim extremists and anti-Muslim extremists have both hijacked and distorted jihad to mean something horrible, to mean exactly what jihad does not mean, actually. And the only way we can reclaim our words and reclaim our language is by leaders proudly and unapologetically using it in the right context so we can show the world what jihad really means. Jihad does not mean war, I think that that's and how past the graveyard because like that that's already the, the reclamation ben it's too late for that uh, of course no it isn't too late it isn't too late it isn't too late okay if it isn't if it isn't too late then i'd like to hear care come out right now and condemn the muslim brotherhood why would we condemn the Muslim Brother? We don't condemn political organizations listen let's uh, not again every single time you want to try to distort the conversation 
Uh, why, you don't you condemn, uh, uh, why don't you condemn the KKK? Why don't you condemn uh, the Lord's Resistance because Army? Every time a Muslim KKK. comes up, you start <laughs> condemning, you start asking Muslims to condemn, condemn, condemn. Muslims are human beings. We're proud Americans. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We condemn all people. We condemn all people who engage in violence against right. human beings, against civilians. And take that for granted. We are one humanity, one people. Let's get to know all each right, other. Hassan. Let's not promote fear and hate of each other. All right, Hassan, I'll give the last word to you, Ben. Okay, if you want to reclaim the word jihad, you should start by condemning organizations that promote jihad all over the world instead of associating with them, praising Why would them, we, and talking about Again, you're misdefining jihad. Jihad means standing terms. for justice. Jihad means standing for justice. It doesn't mean terrorism. And we stand against all terrorists then and all those who engage in violence. organizations that participate right. in it. This is not hard. We, we have and we do, just all as right. everybody else does. Thank you, and uh, God bless Hassan. you. God bless America. Thank you, Hassan and Benjamin.